welcome back. Um, I hope you've all had a fabulous break over half term and it was extended by a couple of inset days as well so that's really lovely. I hope you've made the most of the weather and the sunshine and played out lots in your garden um, and I hope you've all just had a really good rest. Um, so we're going to start today's learning with our English lesson and we are coming back to the book Wonder. Um, so you all got these delivered to your house before half term and hopefully some of you have spent maybe some of your half term holiday actually reading this or watching the film with your families um, and just enjoying it as you have gone. Now what we're going to do today is First of all, before you actually get started with your learning, if you haven't already, I'd like you please to read from page eight, which is the chapter that's um, Christopher's house here, um, to page 19, okay? So there's just about 10 or 11 pages there that I'd like you to read. Um, and it just goes into a little bit of detail about um, how he feels, how his parents feel about him starting school, um, all of those mixture of emotions that he's going through, who actually wants him to start school, who doesn't, and their feelings behind that. Um, it also goes into a bit of a de bit, bit more detail about the head teacher, Mr. Tushman, and the teacher, Mrs. Garcia, and who he kind of meets on his tour of the school, okay? Um, page 19 then actually starts off with his um, meeting of Jack Will, Julian, um, and somebody called Charlotte. Um, you don't need to read that just yet, I'll explain at the end of the video, if you do want to read a little bit further, um, I'll explain where I'd like you to read up to. But if you could focus on pages 8 to 19 this morning, um, once you've done that, you can then continue to watch the rest of the video because today's learning is about those 11 pages. So once you have read it, um, what I would like you to do is have a look at the picture below of some um, glasses or binoculars, It's ha whichever you... Um, visualize it as okay and we're imagining now we'll just put that down uh, we're imagining that we are somebody looking into august's life okay so i've got my binoculars or my glasses and i'm looking at um august's first day of school his tour of the school um with his mum and with his dad um, but also we're thinking about some answers to specific questions okay and we're focusing it on how the character is thinking, feeling and what he's doing, okay? So we've got all of those different things that we need to include today and all of the, these questions that we need to answer in order to meet our lesson objective. So with your binoculars or your glasses, first thing that we're going to do, really nice and creative, is draw what you imagine August to actually be doing, um, how you would see it, how you visualised it from the book when you've read it, because I don't know about you, but when I read, um, I get an image in my head of what it's going to look like, what the school is like, what the teacher's like, all that kind of stuff. So I want you to actually draw that today, so it's quite nice. So here you could do maybe um, what it was like on his tour of the school, and then here in um, a separate eye, um, you could do maybe what it's like at home with his family um, and that sort of thing. If you want to do the same scene in both, that's absolutely fine. Um, but you do need lots of detail in these drawings. So, for example, you might have August um, here. I'm just going to do a stick man just for speed. You might have Mr. Tushman and you might have his mum, who is very protective. And she's quite worried about him, as we know. So she's going to be like holding his hand. Uh, Mr. Tushman looks um, really nice and really friendly. So we want all of these details in about what they're doing. He's probably in a suit with a tie because he's the head teacher. Um, we've got the school in the background, maybe all that kind of stuff. OK, um, that you need to think about. Also, try and include um, facial expressions and everything like that, because we've got a few key questions that we need to answer at the bottom, which is our success criteria. OK. So once you've done your drawings, you then either need to make sure that you've answered these questions within your drawings, or if you haven't, because you might not be that confident of a drawer, um, what I would do, because if someone looked at my drawing, they wouldn't know what it was, um, although I would, no one else would. So I would answer these questions around the binoculars or the glasses in either bullet points or even thought bubbles coming off the character, okay? So we all know that you could just do it like that, really nice and simple about what August is feeling, about what, what Mr. Tushman is saying or doing, 
that kind of stuff, okay? So the questions that we need to think about is, um, the first one is, what is August doing? So what's he doing here and what's he doing here? If it's really clear in your picture, that's fine. If it isn't very clear, then you need to write a bullet point somewhere around it that makes it clear what he is doing. Who is he with and why is he with that person? So why is he with his mum at school? Well, we know, I'll put why there. We know that that's because he's going on a tour. He's never been to school before. Um, we know that when you guys are at school, it, you don't need your mum there um, in school with you. Okay, so that's slightly different. Then how is he feeling? Can you tell from this picture how August is feeling? And at the minute, we definitely can't, okay? However, if I put a face like that, then yeah, you probably could, all right? However, here, what is he wearing? What does August always wear? We know that he always, at the minute, wears an astronaut's helmet. So therefore, we might really struggle to see how he's feeling because he's got his visor down, he's quite hidden, and he wants to hide his facial disfigurement. Um, so therefore, we might need to answer this question as a bullet point to start with, okay? Then, how is August behaving? Is he quite naughty because he's um, unsure about the circumstances or is he just really shy um, and reserved, okay? It's completely up to you. It's however you perceive it from the book, okay? So this is what your activity is to do today. And like I said, I want two different scenes in either of the um, images, okay, okay? So you are gonna answer these questions twice if that makes sense, all right? Um, good luck with your learning today. Um, I look forward to hearing from you all this evening or tomorrow to see how you've got on um, and just see how, um, how well you've spent your half term. All right. Take care, guys.